I had performed the Brahms F minor sonata a number of times and actually played it in New York at Carnegie Hall. Although you would think that that was the end of an exploration, it seemed to me just the beginning. It's such an incredible piece that I felt I needed more time to explore what it has to offer, and I decided to put together a recital program based on the Brahms F minor sonata. I've always thought the music of Brahms, especially in that very Germanic period of his life, it balances so well by the music of the Impressionists. There's a, a real give and take, that he has a few ideas that, that he might share with somebody like Ravel or somebody like Debussy, but for the most part, the two strategies are so different, they kind of build one upon the other. Usually when I put together a recital program, I think of it as, as how would I put together a dinner menu. Uh, I don't want you to feel so full from the first dish that you don't have any space for the rest. At the same time, I want to whet your appetite. You start off with a little taste of Debussy and then maybe a nice cleansing salad of Ravel. <laughs> and then a, a slightly richer soup of Scriabin and then you, you finish with your, uh, your beef Wellington Brahms at the end. <laughs>